Hey there everyone, welcome back to Footy Leagues Around the World. My name is Ryan, and in today's episode I'll be attempting to speak Portuguese. That's because we're going to Angola. Footy Leagues Around the World. Footy Leagues, heck yeah! Angola has four domestic leagues. The Girabola, the Gira Angola, the Angolan Provincial Stage, and the Angolan Fourth Division. The fourth division is most certainly an amateur league. The third division may be, I don't really have that much information on it, so we'll be focusing on the top divisions, the Girabola and the Gira Angola. Today, the Girabola, which is the Angolan first division, is made up of 16 teams, seven of which are located in the country's capital and largest city, Luanda. The Gira Angola is made up of 10 teams, though only two years ago the league had 18 teams in it. The winner of the Girabola qualifies for the CAF Champions League, while the bottom three teams in the league are relegated to the Gira Angola. In the Gira, teams are split into two series, Serie A and Serie B. Eight games are played in these series, and the top team from each series is promoted to the Girabola. The two second place teams in each series play to determine the third team that will be promoted. After that, the two teams that have earned automatic promotion play each other to determine a league winner. The Gira Angola season runs from July to October, while the top flight Girabola runs from February to October, with each team playing 30 games. Angola also has two cup competitions, the Tasa de Angola, which is your standard knockout competition, which sees the winner qualifying for a spot in the CAF Champions League. There is also the Super Tasa, which is a two-leg competition played at the beginning of every single year between last year's winner of the Girabola and last year's winner of the Tasa. Priero de Agosto has the most Super Tasa wins with eight, while Petro de Luanda has the most Tasa wins with 10. In the Girabola, there can only be five foreign players on a squad, and there can only be two foreign players in a starting 11. Speaking of players, Besides a majority of Angolan players, you can also find players from other African countries. There are a number of players in the league coming from Cameroon, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Cape Verde, but also players from Nigeria, Guinea, Senegal, Mozambique, Mali, Gabon, Zambia, Niger, and even a few players from Brazil and Portugal. Plus a random guy from Poland and a random guy from France. For whatever reason, it seems like a tradition for Portuguese-speaking players to go by only one name. Angola is no exception. Some notable players in Angola include Love, Wires, and Landu. Muito legal! But who can forget guys like Llama, Job, Hippie, Jamba, Frank, Lilo, and Fofo? Okay, so the pictures of these players aren't real, but the names are totally real. And if you don't believe me, go on the internet. As it stands right now in Footy League's history, Angola has the coolest player names of all time. And it's gonna be hard for them to be dethroned. Portugal? Brazil? It's up to you. Historically, the team that has been most dominant has been Petro Luanda, who has won the league 15 times. However, recently, Recreativo do Lobolo have won the league four times in the last five years. I'd say that's pretty dumb. In 2016, Angolan cable provider Zap signed a three-year deal with the Angolan Football Federation for broadcast rights of all Garibola matches. As part of the deal, the state-owned television station TPA would broadcast one game a week for free. For those outside of Angola, a quick YouTube search of Girabola or Girabola Zap will provide a solid amount of up-to-date videos and highlights from the league, most of them in great HD quality. And if you know of any cool websites or streams of Angolan football, you know what to do, leave a comment or a link below. Well that's it for Angola, thanks for watching, and shout outs to my friend Christina for helping me out with my Portuguese pronunciations. Up next is Antigua and Barbuda.